hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the working of online signature in odoo sales application so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition and the working will be same in odoo enterprise edition 2 so we all know that the sales cycle starts from creating a quotation then confirm it to a sale order then later making a delivery against this sale order and creating an invoice and collecting the payment from the customer so once we create a quotation and submit it to the client so client will review the quotation and later he will confirm the quotation that he is ready to or he is ready to accept the quotation that we have proposed to him so normally this confirmation can be given across a verbal voice message or what we can say over the call or over the text message so there is an option in Odoo where we can send or request customer to sign the quotation online so if you go to the sales application here we have the configuration menu and if you go to the settings and if you scroll down you will see an option called online signature in quotation and orders request an online signature to confirm the orders so it will be a leg like a legal document we will be getting a confirmation from a written confirmation from the client itself that he is ready to accept the given quotation so if you enable this so here you can see you can enable the online signature in sales application then just click on save button so we have activated the feature of online signature in odo sales now if i go to the orders and let's create a quotation for one of our customer so here we have the custom field and i'll choose deco addict as my customer and i'll add a product to the order line for 750 you can see the total amount is 750 dollar i'll click on save and if you check the other info tab you can see there is an option called online signature and online payment so once you activate the online signature in settings this field will be ticked by default and if you don't need online signature you can just disable from here so by default it will be coming true as we have activated in the sale settings so it's enabled now what we have to do the quotation is prepared now what we have to do we have to send this quotation to the customer so to the sending this quotation to the customer we have the customer email with us so you can just send by email so we will be sending the email to the customer so you can see the state has been moved to quotation sent and if you check the chatter section you can see a mail has been already sent to the customer email address now what we have to do if you come to the action button you have an option called share so once you share this and another email will be sent to the customer so i'll choose my recipient here that is how to send this to deco addict which is my customer sent so and another email has been sent to the customer so you can see it here Dear Deco Addict, you have been invited to access the following document. So either we can send it like this or the customer can log in to his portal and he can see that. So what I'll do is that simply I can click and open this. So once the customer receives this, it will be like this. I'll copy the link, copy link address and put it inside this button and I'll open it in a incognito window. So I'll open in a private window. And I'll click on enter so once the client opens the link it will be like this he will see quotation number is o 0044 quotation date is this invoicing and shipping orders and the product details one quantity with 750 dollar and terms and condition here and payment terms is 30 days and if he need to print the document he has the option to print he can print from here or he can download it and keep it with him so and here you can see sign and pay option you have the sign and pay here or you can have here or if you need to give some feedbacks like please reduce the price give for 700 you can just have a communication with the seller for better quote you can just communicate using the feedback button and i'll click on sign and pay so once i'm ready to accept the quotation I have to sign and confirm so i'll sign and here you can see you have option draw where you can manually put your signature deco you can write like this or auto you can see deco edit 
or if I'm signing as Deco only, I have option. And if you need to upload your signature, you can just use the load and you can load the file containing your signature and attach here. So you have three options. Either you can manually draw like this, Deco or Auto. I think Auto seems to be better and accept and sign. So here you can see I have made the signature. Thank you. You order has been signed but still needs to be paid to be confirmed so it's saying you have to make payment against this to get confirmed so in the back end so if i go to the other tab and if i just refresh my screen in the customer signature section you can see signed by deco and signed on date and time with the signature we can see here also a notification will be seen here quotation viewed by the customer so once the cut the link is opened you can understand whether the customer is opened or not and once it is signed you will be getting a signed document you can see signed by deco addict so here you can see the customer has accepted we understood the customer has accepted the quotation now here from the customer side he has accepted and if he is interested to make payment now click on pay now button and he can choose the available payment occurs and make the payment now i'll use the test card and make pay you can see we are processing your payment your payment has been successfully processed so from the customer side he has accepted the quotation made payment against that so everything is done from the customer's end now i'll go back to the uru instance and if you refresh you can see quotation automatically confirmed initially it was in quotation send once the customer make the payment it has been marked as sale order and a transaction with 750 has been created now what we have to do we have to make delivery for the customer so i'll do the delivery that's done now what we have to do we have to create an in accounting entry so i'll click on create invoice create and view invoice and here you can see already there is a payment against this invoice which has been done online so if you click on payment transaction you will see 750 has been done using payment acquirer so i'll go back to the invoice and i'll confirm this invoice it will automatically get marked as paid because customer has already done the payment through the online so this is how we can request a online signature from the customer just activate it from the sales settings under the quotation and orders you have online signature and from the customer portal he can accept the quotation by putting a sign against this so this is how the online signature works in odoo erp so if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by sharing the video with your odoo friends and please let us know your feedbacks so that we can improve ourselves so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you